What color are Allie's eyes? Everyone comment. What color are they? I know I've she, always said blue, but then I'm looking and I'm like... I know she has a nice, like, mixed color. Yeah, that doesn't color, count. But overall, what color I'm are I'm more concerned about this eye. When you look at Allie... What is she? You say, wow, Allie's eyes are so pretty. They are the color what? Let us know. Hi friends, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm sitting down to show you what I bought this week, okay? Yes, I get a lot of makeup and PR, but yes, I still buy stuff. And there have been a few launches that I've wanted to try. Um, some of these things are new, some of these things I just kind of like wanted. Um, I have a couple restocks. They're, it's honestly a random haul, I'm not gonna lie. So I bought things off of Sephora. I did a little Amazon haul as well. Well, with just a couple things. And I bought something from Shantikai, which I'll get into. But I'm just gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what I picked up. So I rebought the Embryolise Late Cream Concentrate. I I should have just got the full size. I don't know. I think my logic was that I have so many primers that I didn't want the full size, but like this was kind of pricey for a one ounce and I should have just paid a few extra bucks for the full size. Anyway, well, maybe it's not bad because I can travel with it. So that's a plus, but I have used this for years. And then the one that I had, I didn't quite use it up and I just knew I needed to replace it. So I rebought it, you know, cause I've just been missing it. So we're going to put this all over the skin to prep. This product is so incredible underneath makeup. It's like a moisturizer, but also a primer and it's just divine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that everywhere. Do a little mini face massage. What foundation do I want today? I think I'm gonna wear the House Labs foundation. Just gonna do about one pump and I'm just gonna kind of buff this into the skin. I'm just pressing that in with my sponge. The next thing I picked up is actually just a new shade and something that I love. This is the Givenchy Prism Libre Skin Care and Concealer. Um, I have the shade N95, which works really well for me, but I wanted like a little bit of a lighter shade just in case I wanted to brighten. So I bought the lightest shade and it looks pretty light. So let's see how this looks. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to like mix the two shades. Honestly, I was hoping that it would be a little more cool tone but this is neutral, so it's fine. I'm just gonna blend that out with my sponge. This concealer is truly gorgeous. I'm so glad that I picked it up. It was something that I saw like two or three influencers over on Instagram talk about in the same day. And I was like, okay, say no more. Apparently I need to try that. And it's so good. It genuinely like feels like skincare. It looks beautiful underneath the eyes. The other day I actually tried it. Maybe I should have shown you, but Whatever, I'm using a sponge, but the other day I used my fingertips to blend it out and there was something about that that really just melted the texture under my eyes and it looked so pretty. Maybe I'll just kind of like tap the excess in with my fingers, I don't know. The point is it's gorgeous, especially under the eyes, but I use it all over the face too. Like I've been using it over blemishes. It gives good coverage, um, but it just looks natural on the skin without, or I mean, it looks natural on the skin, but gives good coverage. Uh, it's just really good. So I love it. Let's do a little cream bronzer. I'm gonna use this Dibs 2.5. I'm just gonna kind of melt that onto the back of my hand and then pick it up with a brush and then just kind of start stamping that into the complexion. Let's see, like that. I'm not sure, I know they sold out of this shade, but I really, really love this duo because the blush on this side is so cute. It's like a bubblegum pink, it's so pretty. But the bronzer is also really nice. I feel like it actually warms up my skin without pulling too orange, which is sometimes hard to find for fair skin anyway. So I've been using this a lot. Okay, the next things I bought, I bought three blushes, you guys. <laughs> I feel kind of mad at myself for doing that. No, I don't, okay. I'm glad, but the point is I have so many blushes and I just, I can't get enough. I was already blush obsessed before everyone started launching blushes. And now my obsession with blush has increased, believe it or not. And I feel like I just, I have to like try all the formulas and so many gorgeous colors are launching. Blush to me is like one of my favorite steps in makeup and also the colors of blushes are, I don't know, something that I just crave. So let me show you what I picked up. I, I've been really loving the Nude Sticks blushes all over again. Um, ever since I used them when I was kind of recreating the Sophia Richie um, bridal look, cause she used some of those. So I kind of pulled them out again and the formula is beautiful. And then I saw people talking about Sunkissed Pink, which is a gorgeous pink color. 
I mean, I have like so many blushes this color, but I literally couldn't resist. I'm gonna swatch this um, because I did buy three blushes and I wouldn't be surprised if some of these colors are the same. I just have been tending to go for cool tone pinks lately. So there's that one. Stunning, can't wait to put that on my face. Then I saw Makeup by Mario launch the Soft Pop Plumping Blush Veil, which is the same formula as the like bronzer. I can't remember the exact name of that, but it's like a cream blush. He launched lots of shades and I picked up two. So let's take a look at these and swatch them. I picked up Perfect Pink. Oh, told ya, I, literally, what, why? Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's the same color, basically, but different formula, okay. Oh yeah, way different formula. So this is like a pretty sheer blush. Ooh, very different. Oh, see, not the same. Looks the same in the pan, but it actually applies a lot lighter <clears throat> and it's very, very emollient. I feel like it might leave a dewy finish, which would be cute. And then I picked up Pinch Me Pink as well, which is a little bit more like, warm tone, but I think this one's a bit lighter. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, didn't quite swatch that well. Yeah, here's that one. So that's even lighter. These are very, very sheer, but in a good way, you know? To be fair, I feel like the matte ones from Nude Sticks do sheer out. So let me kind of sheer that. Okay, they're different. These two are similar, but this one is a little deeper. So they're all pink, but again, I love these types of colors. I'm feeling like I'm probably gonna have to layer these. I'm not gonna have to, I just, I just kinda wanna try both formulas, but all right, let me think through this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the um, Nude Sticks one because it's just a little bit more matte. I'm gonna take this on the back of my hand first and then pick it up with the brush. And we're gonna kind of pop this on the outer portions of the cheeks. I just really wanna see how this color looks. Okay, that is so pretty. Very flattering, soft, cool tone pink. And based off the two colors, I'm honestly wanting to go into perfect pink, which was the slightly deeper one. I'm just gonna go directly into the pan with my brush and then kind of tap it off on my wrist to make sure that the brush has an even amount of product. And then let's try this. I don't know. Ooh, see how it leaves a very, very dewy finish? Obviously I haven't used powder yet, and I might layer this up after powder as well. I'm just kind of trying to get a feel for the formula first. That made my cheeks look so juicy. I love that. Okay, well, happy about those so far. Let's see, where's my sponge? Goodness gracious. Oh, here it is. I'm just gonna take my sponge and press around the edges. And then I'm gonna take my teeny little Huda Beauty puff with the Huda Beauty cupcake powder. And I'm gonna set the under eyes with this for a sec. I'm also taking that around the T-zone just to kind of blot any excess shine. That under eye combo, the Givenchy concealer and then pressing the Huda Beauty powder, that looks so smooth. I love how that looks. Okay, I also like to take a little bit of a powder brush just with some of that same powder and I'm just gonna kind of lightly set the rest of the face since we have those creams all over. So even though I set it with powder, the color still shines through really nicely, which I like. Um, I feel like it is missing a little bit of that freshness now, but I still want it to last a long time. So I'm gonna take what's left on the brush. Well, I'm gonna dip into it a little bit, just the same Mario one, and just kind of like add back in a bit of that cream, not too much, but just enough to kind of add a little bit of that sheen back. Okay. And then I'm gonna do my brows really fast. Just gonna use my benefit one. Oh man, I completely forgot because it was covered up. I bought the Patrick Ta nose contour brush, but I just set my face. <sighs> I meant to try this with like a cream and a powder. I forgot. So here it is. I don't know, this just looked really good. I'll show you what it looks like. Look how interesting we have this kind of like half fan brush on one side. I'm assuming that's for like the cream. Ooh, and you can like kind of get up into this area here. <gasps> That seems very intuitive. Okay, cute. And then we have the more fluffy side, which is for like bronzing, I believe, or a powder, I should say, on the nose. I don't know. For some reason, I just, I wanted to try this. I don't own a nose contour brush. I just use whatever I have. There's something about this shape that's really interesting. So I guess I wanna try it. I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Bobbi Brown bronzer. I can only use one side of the brush though. I 100% meant to try this out, but have to give it another go later. I'm gonna kind of work this into the crease of the eye and up into the brow a little. Dang, I was really, really hoping to try the cream side of the brush, but we'll save that for another time, I guess. I'm just gonna do a quick eye look 
Okay, I'm using the Cosmos palette from Anastasia. I just used the Space Dust shade and then this one all over the lid. Very simple, but I love it. So then from Chantecaille, I bought an eyeliner. This is like for the waterline. I've had my eye on this for forever. And I learned about it from Nikki Makeup, who is one of my favorite makeup artists to follow. I've mentioned her so many times on my channel. And every time she has like a bright eyed look that she's done, she uses this. And so I finally caved and got it. It's the Brightening Eye Kajal in the shade Nude. So I'm gonna put this in the waterline. Cute. It's actually a really beautiful color. It really brightens the eyes, but it still looks natural. I'm just gonna pop on some mascara and then I have some, oh, everything's falling off my desk. I have some false lashes that I bought, which I'll talk more about. I usually never do this, but for some reason I really wanted to try these, so BRB. Okay, so Danielle Makeup, who I follow on Instagram and TikTok, she talked about these Ardell 420 lashes and what she does with them is really cool. So I wanted to try these out. Like I said, I'm not like a huge false lash person, but I love a good half lash and that's what made me wanna try these because she said that she takes these and you might see, if you notice the shape is pretty um, tapered on the outside and then fluffy on the inside. So she said she cuts these in half and uses the halves on either eye. So that's what I'm wanting to try. I don't know, let's see. So you would only need one lash at a time essentially, which we love that. All right, I'm gonna cut these in half. Okay, I've got my little half lashes. I'm just gonna use my Duo Clear Lash Glue. So I'm gonna take the one that has the small lash on the inside with the fluff on the outside and do that on the right eye. Okay, let me see. It's been a while since I've applied lashes, so bear with me. Oh, that is so cute. Wait, how pretty is that? So natural looking. Cause I feel like that's why I don't usually go for a strip lash. Cause I, first of all, I have really long lashes naturally. So sometimes it can like really overpower my eyes, but like something like this is something I would genuinely wear, especially if I want just more of that lifted eye look and a little more fluff on the outer corner. So pretty. Okay, let's do the other eye. Okay, seriously, how pretty are those? And so natural, so soft. Just a little extra something on the outer corner. Oh, pretty. I'm so happy that I tried these. And the fact that you only need one lash per look makes it last for two looks per lash, which is great. I ended up just buying like a little four pack on Amazon of these. So I'll have them link down below. These are so nice. Oh, I also forgot that I ended up throwing in the um, Ula Henriksen Pout Preserve Lip peptide treatment or peptide lip treatment. Forgot to put this on earlier. Oh boy, but we'll put it on now. So I don't know. I just, I'm a sucker for lip products and this had good reviews. So I wanted to try it. That's pretty. I guess I should have probably put my lip liner on, which I did end up buying a Mario lip liner. I have a couple of these and I really, really love this formula. And I love the shades that I have. I picked up a new shade called Hue, which is like this really pretty rose tone. Now that I have the lip balm on, I'm gonna wipe it off for a second. I should have thought this through earlier, but I'm gonna line my lips and then I'm gonna use that as like a gloss. All right, so I lined the lips and kind of filled it in with that color. I think it actually looks really pretty with the eyeshadow that I have. Now I'm gonna take that Ulla Henriksen lip treatment. I'm gonna use that as my gloss today. Pretty. I'm just gonna kind of tap what's left on the blush brush on the high points of the face. I think the blush is so pretty. I know I had layered two, but just this color or this tone in general of both, I really love. But especially the Mario one, I feel like is what you mostly see here. I think it's really, really nice. All right, we're gonna assess the situation. <clears throat> I feel like I'm gonna need a little bit of bronzer. So I'm just gonna take that same Bobbi Brown bronzer that I used around the nose, and I'm gonna add a teensy bit more. <laughs> I always do this. I just feel like I always need more bronzer at the end of my looks, I don't know. I'm kind of touching up my brows a little bit. And I'm gonna take a little bit more of the Space Dust eyeshadow color right here. Cause I feel like that's what's tying in the lip to the eye look and I want just a little more, just right here. Pretty, okay. I'm gonna set the face with a little bit of my Lisa Eldridge Skin and Makeup Enhancing Mist. Let that sink in. And then as always, I like to press any setting sprays into my skin with my sponge. And then I'm gonna set the brows with my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. I feel like this look needs highlighter. So I'm taking my Charlotte Tilbury, um, what's this called? Face Architect Highlighter in Champagne Glow. And first I'm just gonna pop that in the very inner corner of the eye. See, to me, a little inner corner highlight really makes a difference. And then we're gonna put a little under the brows 
And even though I'm really loving the finish of the blush, I do feel like this look needs a little bit of glow right here. So I'm just buffing that same highlighter right here on the high points of the cheeks. Ideally, I would have done this before setting spray, but you know, sometimes it happens to where you're like, wait, you assess the situation and you're like, I think I need something else. That's what happened. So I'm gonna take my sponge and just kind of pretend that I did this before setting spray and just make sure that that's pressed into the skin. Well, I wasn't expecting to feel like a full on fairy with this makeup look, but I love how it turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the stuff that I bought. I know sometimes it's like not the coolest stuff. Like I literally bought some lashes on Amazon, some face cream, but honestly, I am curious about what other people buy. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I picked up even if I bought three blushes, you know, <laughs> like probably wasn't the smartest move, but I'm not mad about it. And I feel like the blush is really what kind of perfected this makeup look specifically. Um, so really happy about the blush formulas. I am curious to see how the Pinch Me Pink looks by itself because this is quite a bit of a lighter shade. Um, it's a much more sheer formula than I was anticipating and that doesn't mean it's a bad thing at all. I just feel like you could definitely go for deeper tones and you would be able to make it work with this formula, but I'm excited to see how this looks. Um, but I definitely really, really like the Perfect Pink. I'm excited about the Sun Kiss Pink too. It's literally like basically the same vibe as that one. Formulas are different though. This one's uh, more pigmented, more matte. Love both the colors. I really, really loved the Shantakai Nude Waterline. I mean, it just really brightens up the eyes, but it's not quite as stark as a white liner. So really like that. I mean, I know you can find different nude ones at a lot of different price points, but there is something nice about this specific tone that's working really well. And it was very creamy and very comfortable in the waterline, which is nice. Oh, the brush, I'm bummed that I didn't try for the cream, but I'm gonna leave it here so that I can try it tomorrow. The lip treatment feels nice. Love the color of the lip liner. I love how it leans a little bit more peach. It really tied in with the eye look, I thought. And the star of the show, honestly, I was not expecting to love these little lashes so much. I just love how it looks on the outer corner. It's very soft, very subtle. Um, very easy to do. It almost looks like I went and applied individual lashes with how natural it looks, but it takes way less time than individuals. And I'm always someone that when I do wear a false lash, I again, typically go for something on just the outer corner for myself. So this is kind of like the best of all worlds for me. I really love how it looks and it just kind of adds to that lifted eye look effect with the bright waterline. There's something about it that I really, really like. So that was a hit. Also the shade of the Prism Libra Concealer. I love how brightening that is under the eyes. I feel like the shade actually does work even though I was hoping for something a little more pink, I feel like I can always balance out tones and undertones with a little bit of pink powder under the eyes, which I did. But I'm happy to have a brighter shade in this formula because it's just so good. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Oh, I guess I'm happy to have the Embryolis cream back as well. It really does do something. Like this looks amazing underneath makeup and I kind of forgot, but you can see how natural my foundation looks. Of course, I really do love this House Labs formula, but there's something about that cream if you're a makeup artist or prepping your own skin for makeup, I'm telling you, it just, it's famous for a reason. Like makeup artists use it for a reason. It really does do something magical underneath the foundation. So I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.